In this video, we will show how to replace all of the boards in this Vizio TV model number M552I-B2. This is an entire kit for that model, and the boards included are the main board, the power supply, the LED driver, and the TCON board. It is recommended to take pictures during the repair process to use as a reference point. Be sure your TV is unplugged. The first board we are going to replace is the power supply board. Begin by disconnecting all of the cables and wires connected to the board. Remove all of the screws that hold the board to the chassis and lift the board from the chassis. This power supply is connected to the LED driver board. This is a fragile connection point, so be gentle while disconnecting the two boards. It may also be easier and safer to disconnect the LED driver from the chassis when disconnecting the two boards from each other. Take your replacement board and align it on the chassis while connecting it to the LED driver. Install the screws to secure the board to the chassis. Reconnect the wires and cables to the board. Next, we will show how to replace the LED driver board. Begin by disconnecting all of the cables and wires connected to the board. Remove all of the screws that hold the board to the chassis and lift the board from the chassis. Once again, the LED driver board is connected to the power supply, so be careful when disconnecting these two boards. Take your replacement board and align it on the chassis Install the screws to secure the board to the chassis. Reconnect the wires and cables to the board. Next, replace the TCON board. Begin by disconnecting all of the cables and wires connected to the board. Be very careful with these two ribbon cables as they are fragile. Remove all of the screws that hold the board to the chassis and lift the board from the chassis. Take your replacement board and align it on the chassis. Install the screws to secure the board to the chassis. Reconnect the wires and cables to the board. The last board we are going to replace is the main board. 
Begin by disconnecting all of the cables and wires connected to the board. Be very careful with these two ribbon cables as they are fragile. Remove all of the screws that hold the board to the chassis and lift the board from the chassis. Carefully disconnect the Wi-Fi module from the original main board. By pulling the module firmly, it should release from the board. If your replacement kit comes with the Wi-Fi module, you do not need to disconnect it from the original board. You can just use the one that comes on the replacement board. Reconnect the Wi-Fi module to the replacement main board. Take your replacement board and align it on the chassis. Install the screws to secure the board to the chassis. Reconnect the wires and cables to the board.